We were putting together a huge research network. That was in 2001 or 2002. We were trying to put together the CASES program, which is the Canadian Arctic Shelf Exchange Study. So a big study, a one-year study, where one icebreaker would be uh, overwintering in the Beaufort Sea to look at all the uh, winter ecosystem, but also the exchanges of carbon from the land to the, uh, the ocean. So a big project with many teams and everything was well prepared. Everybody's buoyant and uh, we're gonna get this one. And the Coast Guard told us, yes, you can have an icebreaker. And the day before the site visit, that is the meeting with the International Committee to assess the program, Coast Guard called us at about seven at night and tells us, it's too bad we tried as much as we could. We promised you a ship, but we cannot. So that was a catastrophe. I said, this is the end of it. I mean, this is the end of, of that kind of uh, renewal of Arctic science that we're trying to put together in, in Canada. And uh, then uh, NSERC, uh, they said, well, anyway, come tomorrow to the, to the committee, strut your stuff, and uh, we'll see what we do with your project. Everybody was dispirited, but we shook up and said, uh, yeah, we'll do that. So we go with the, the committee the following day and everything goes so smoothly and everything. So the committee was almost telling us they don't, not, they're not allowed to say, but you have your project. So we said, the only thing we need now to, is an icebreaker. <laughs> Fortunately, at that time, I was in contact with uh, the, the staff at the, uh, at the Canada Foundation for Innovation. I go to them and I say, this is our situation. We have a project. We have everything, but we don't have an icebreaker. And we know, and we've been knowing for, for a long time, that in Canada, we need a research, a dedicated research icebreaker. They said, well, that's interesting because we just put together a new program, which is the International Joint Venture Fund. And um, they said, from what you're explaining to us, it seems that what you need is exactly the kind of thing that we could fund. About six months later, the news came that we could have the money to revamp entirely the Franklin into Canada's most uh, up-to-date uh, research platform. For us, it's immediately champagne. Eh? We have just changed the course of our life, scientific life and, sci and, and life in general, for the next uh, 20 or 30 years. And, and since then, it's the, the, um, uh, the Amundsen has been the, uh, the catalyst of that renewal of science, Arctic science but also of creating that very tightly knit team. It's our family, it's uh, the crew, the, uh, the, the officers, but also the scientists that come from all over the world. We're all friends and, and the Amundsen is the, uh, the central part of it all.